I really, uh, I, I was shocked at how good it was because I had kind of low expectations for like modern side scroll Nintendo games. I feel like they just didn't quite have, uh, you know, the charm of previous ones. But um, I was really impressed. I feel like just the quality was that much better. Like the music was really great. The the cinematics were awesome. And the gameplay mm-hmm. was really good. It was a really, really cool game. Yeah, Spike Vegeta's uh, Returns run from uh, GDQ was what first got me into the the new DKC duology. When when is the third one coming out? <laughs> Sorry, I just got super distracted um, because we had a racer uh, unready after the time went. Just a second, we have to sort this out. Uh, I know they're mirrored. I'll fix that in a sec. There you go. Sorry about that, everybody. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Well, Sorry. What the was the least... last thing you said? Because I, I feel like I, I was rudely not listening, um, but I was like in panic, figure out what's going on mode. So something uh, with GDQ? Yes. Uh, one of the first runs that I saw was uh, Spike Vegeta's uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns run at one of the earlier GDQs, like 2013 or something like that. Oh, right. And that's when I was like, oh yeah, this game looks great. I'm gonna pick it up. And then, you know, Tropical Freeze came out, which was also really, really awesome. Yeah, I, I preferred that one to Returns, but I, I think they were both pretty good games, actually. And as somebody who played so much original DKC when I was a kid, um, I was happy to, happy to play those ones. All right, sorry about all the uh, technical difficulties there. I. I was not doing my job. Should have just relied on the refs. But we're good now. Our timer's a little delayed, but that's okay. So I've seen so far, uh, there was a turkey in a barrel. Um, some of the runners were picking that up with the uh, gold decks that they got in the blood shop. Some runners have uh, blood drums. I see cheese. And we have a push room on a pre, uh, pre-8. Oh, nice. Obsidian push room. Yeah, I'm a fan of uh, broadswords. I think obsidian is... Not always ideal, but with the push broom, that'll be really nice. Uh, we also have mop Ooh. potential. Oh, we got the accelerator now for Papa Neat. That's uh, <laughs> that's a time. Good luck. Have fun. Wow, Brim's look at that shot, the, uh... though. It is killable, but I don't know if Papa Neat knows how. You aggro with the bomb, then you blood drum. Oh, you can actually. Ooh. Doesn't need to. Has the ring. Ring now. Yeah, you can bomb and then just knock him back. I don't think he knows. Well, we'll see. You can do it, Papa Neat. Yep, bomb. Knock him away. Oh, he did the blood drum. Maybe he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Although he didn't need to there. He didn't need to take go down to half a heart. But, you know, he's got he's got the armor. That's pretty good. Oh, man. I was getting really thrown off seeing uh, Pre jumping on the uh, the bounce trap. But and has the uh, bouncing, leg yeah. boots. Yeah. Yeah, I did the exact same thing. Like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm like, is that a courage interaction? of some- No, wait. No, <laughs> yeah. This is all good. Yeah, you just gotta make sure you don't throw yourself into an awkward situation. Oh, no. Uh <laughs> I Oh, yep, there it is. That's Papa Neat taking a Minotaur to the face. That was Axe so weird. Is not a broadsword. But He's... like the Minotaur was running why did the Minotaur do that? Papa Neat uh hit uh, the Minotaur with the it. with the with the axe, with war, into the wall, and then the the Minotaur immediately attacked down. Oh, really? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I did not see that. That was really weird looking. Uh, that's that reeks of shenanigans to me. Oh, Papa Neat going for bloodshot throws. That's troublesome. I did not see. Yeah. Huh. All right, pretty close race so far. Pretty weight with the lead. Uh, that push broom seems to be working out, but again, it's very dangerous. But does have goo protection. That's one of the major concerns going into zone four. You really want to make sure that you've got uh, some kind of goo protection when you have courage. Otherwise, you're going to always be on goo. And actually, um, it helps to also have ice protection here in zone three so that you don't courage onto ice. Um, by the way, that is not my mouse on Bryn. <laughs> if anyone's frustrated, that's another uh, 
Another cursor uh, <laughs> familiar. Ooh, my spirit animal. I see it. <laughs> I do but, not. Uh, I would never I would never see someone take it for sure. That'd be the uh, next transmute there on Kavalka. Oh, okay. Nice shovel there for uh, Pre-Wait. Pre-Wait's got a really good setup now. Plus one damage with Obsidian is really helpful. You don't want to be low on damage. Ooh, there was a uh, plus one damage uh, blood blood bus would have been pretty cool. That's a blood harp. Ooh, and do you take that rapier with courage? The rocket. That's spicy. Is that titanium too? It mm. is. It's very good, but with the rocket, it or with the rape or courage, it's that really would be good. going super fast. Plus, has the uh, the big dig. That would be perfect. I don't know. It's really scary. Rocket build scary. Ooh. There's the piercing though. Yeah, piercing would be nice. Yeah, that swap would be actually perfect. Go back, get the rapier, grab the piercing, get some cookies while you're at it. I think we're gonna see them go in there. Uh, don't forget, you got that holy water. You just jump into that back closet and uh, just holy water them all up. Get your health back. Oh, half a heart is not a comfortable feeling, Kavalka, please. No, Kavalka here with a pretty minimal build, just a plus two uh, or a plus one damage spear. But there's that rapier. And are all our racers on the same floor, pretty much? All except for yeah. Papa Need. Papa Need's build is really nice, but he's pretty back at this point. Getting rid of all the ghosts. It's still early. Oh, gold kill? Uh. Oh, come on, it's right there. <laughs> oh, you got it, Papa Need, right there. Oh, we could have just done it. Oh. It's all right. Keep attacking. Don't stop attacking. <laughs> oh, no. He's wasting a beat for some reason, and it's causing spawns. It's scaring me. Okay, we got a Quartz Armor pickup from Pre-Wait. Always a little dangerous killing a Mimic with Courage. <laughs> directly into... Couraging directly into whatever item it drops, because it could be Boots of uh, Pain. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that reminded me. So, there was this time that Speedfrog um, had a Mimic... Uh, Attacked a mimic onto a bounce trap, bounced into the bounce trap into the boots of pain, <laughs> and just exploded on one B and didn't yeah. even see the boots of pain. That's the worst. I've seen it with um, you have half a heart, boots of pain on a bounce trap into a crate, and then inside the crate is a ring of pain. I've seen that. That's oh pretty, no, that's pretty delicious too. <laughs> so you just jump Ooh. at a crate and die. That was pretty funny. All so right, this uh, pre-weights really got to push this here. If they're going to push, they need to push. And with the Ring of Paint or Ring of Courage, you can do it. And that's often how your your sort of top tier racers are going to do this. Is with Courage, you just make sure you kill an enemy every beat, and you're never going to die. Cheese Shield Spell, please use your spells. Yeah. Oh yeah, Shield Spell makes this so much safer too. Like really, just get in there. Okay, we've got a Pixie Kiss for a little extra health. Ooh, nice. And uh, lots of bombs. Yeah. I hope that, Yeah, this uh... is a, such a safe build now the more I look at it. With the with the spells, you got the blast helm. You really just gotta go. I there really go. hope Kabalka saw that so that they can get those bombs too. Yeah, they're only at three. That's not that's not great. Three is better than two though. Titanium longsword swap now for Papa Neat, going to something a little safer. Old faithful I like to call it. Nice, uh, comfortable weapon. <laughs> and we're seeing some Pac-Man action here for uh, pre-weight. Goblin up all those uh, zambies. Got to get your uh, your spells back, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you've got if you got some kind of regen or you know you want to get your spell back, that's a great way to do it. Although Zone Five is like now you really use your spells because. Oh, please. Yes, please use spells. Oh, man. We're... Okay, nice cheese. Eat. Okay. Rush in. No extra hearts. There we go. Only quartz. Yeah, it's a little scary. Hmm. Yes. The shop has crown of thorns. 
It's a little late to get Crown of Thorns. I'd actually keep the uh, Blast Helm. I think most people think of Blast Helm as the oh, sort no. of top tier thing. That was a good choice. Thank you. Getting surrounded over on uh, pre weights. Yeah, that's Using Blood spicy. Shield to get out of it. Papa Neat here at half a heart going into zone three. This is definitely the furthest Papa Neat's gotten so far in this tournament. Nice job. Papa Neat, very er new to this game. Uh, we've got a nice race here between Bryn and Kavalka. Look at those weapons for, for Bryn as well. The holstered axe, titanium rapier, good stuff. Papa Neat, bomb that for cheese. I don't know if he knows. Oh, where are we going? What are we doing? Taking the boss shrine, spicy. <laughs> gonna bomb it. I hope I don't sound like a robot. You're slightly. Oh really? Uh, oh yeah. You sound great. Discord body. Hold on. Let me fix that. All right. I'm having some uh, Discord issues. Sounds good for us, but um, and now I'm trying to reconnect and it's not working. So we currently do not have Mumu. Um, hopefully it'll it'll connect soon. Um, I left and now I can't get back in. But in the meantime, we'll keep on commentating. Hopefully it'll click back in. Uh, so this is looking good for Preweight. With only 10 minutes into this race, Preweight looking to finish this off. Nicely done. We got uh, a zone three, a zone four, and a zone five for our, the other three racers. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on here with my, oh. Are we better? There Since we my go. Voice is connected. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, I look back and Papa Neat went down in zone three. And that unfortunately is not gonna be enough. Um, hopefully Papa Neat can come back from it. Though with a- yeah, Papa Neat got clapped. Oh man. Yeah, with a PB of 15 minutes, I don't know if Papa Neat's gonna be able to make it back in time. But we shall see, got to zone three though. Freeway got some pretty good lures at the end. Oh, going for uh, almost bad ending. <laughs> Scary. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Um, yeah, what's up, Yandy? How's it going? Wind Some more spell. Uh, spelunky people. Spooty! Hey, thanks so much for the raid, Spooty. How's everything going? Pretty sure you were doing some overload stuff. I think, I think that's right. Welcome, welcome. All right, so that's four points for pre-weight. That's a nice pickup. Pre-weight coming into this with only two points. So uh, that's going to probably guarantee them a spot. I think that does guarantee them a spot. We'll, uh, as we get closer to the end of the first round, we'll start to give a good look at what kind of tiebreaker we're going to see. I imagine with 16 racers, we better oh, get a tiebreaker. Oh, this is off the rails right now. Kavalka. Oh, Kavalka taking a big hit there. Oh, my goodness. Getting ogred. Half a heart down. Oh. Death to Dead Ringer. That is not a good time to die. That gives Bryn a chance to take second place away from Kavelka. I don't think, I don't know. Kavelka, you can keep at it, um, but it's going to be tough to come back and surpass. So Kavalka close to finishing the fight. Yeah. Found some chainmail at least. So that was, uh, I don't think I, s mm, no, everyone, okay, that must have been a regular pickup, uh, at least partway through, because I see Bryn has it too. That was the second conjure. Yeah, I think uh, trying to kill th some things, like you've got lots of time, so just guarantee this win. Kill lots of enemies, get your hearts back. It's a good call. Oh, it has piercing, yeah. So you don't have to dodge orcs unless, of course, it's a um, orc with more than one health. You do not want to attack orcs with piercing from point blank. Oh right, I heard about that. That is That's a one-way ticket great. to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a great interaction. Yeah, I'm not sure why Bryn's not using the rapier. I feel like the rapier would be better. But okay. yeah, the, the one damage hasn't been doing him any favors. Also heal spell, yeah. Seems to have used it there. It's all good. 
Yeah, use your spells. Very important. Oh, man. Taking hits. And yeah, it looks like uh, Kavalka is just waiting to see if Bryn can surpass them or not. I don't actually know what floor Bryn is on because it's super cut off. But it looks Bryn's, like Dead Ringer. Uh, right at the end. Yep, 5 4. So we'll see how this Dead Ringer goes. Switch to the Ooh. Rapier, please. Okay, easy much left better. side scoots. Much, much better. Oh, yeah, very nice. Easy left side. And that is going to be. Yeah, that's gonna be second place now for uh, Bryn. We'll see if Bryn can finish this here. Looking really strong right now. Doesn't have the bombs though, so it's gonna have to do butt puzzles. And uh, these butt puzzles are a little awkward. Yeah, using those heals, it's important does have the uh, shield spell for the second phase for the extendo shield and doing the butt puzzles it's going to be a super long shield um not sure if everybody's aware of how that works but because this is the only floor that has two songs on it uh the way that the let's see if i remember exactly how this works um the shield spell looks at the number of beats the song has had and then it adds whatever the number is. I don't remember however many beats a shield spell lasts for. And then it locks that in. That's the number of beats that the shield is going to last until. And so if you, um, if once you switch the song, then the beat number resets, but the shield still thinks that it needs to go to beat whatever, beat 78 or something. And so it's gonna last extra super long. It's gonna last to as if the song didn't change. Don moi salute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to seeing free anime. Uh, I was a little taken off by not okay. seeing that. Okay. Oh language. God, Dorian is at one heart. This is really spicy. Uh, oh, I would have frozen. Okay, look at died. how long that look at how long that shield lasted though. Uh, the loot is in the holster right now. That's a real problem. Oh no! <laughs> What's happening? Loot's in the holster. Loot's in the holster. Holster is bad. There it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, you switched back again. Keep the loot out. <laughs> oh, and Dorian only has one heart. I am so scared. Thankfully, uh, the Necrodancer bombed the ogre there. This is so scary. I don't even know how freaked out they must be. But this is the last hit. There it is. G G. No, I can't just go. <laughs> oh my God! What are they doing? Bad memes are bad. There you go. Went for bad ending. Didn't get it. And I think we'll see. But I feel like that's probably it. I don't think anyone's gonna surpass. But I guess it. Yeah, Calvica would have to finish here for anything to change. Um, or Papa Neat would have to get to the, the Necrodancer. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, while they while they continue to oh, proceed through uh, the remaining floors, I actually wanted to ask you real quick. Sure. Did you see, um, not too long ago, uh, J. Hobbs and Kizaron did a blind race of Cadence of Hyrule? I did not. So that was neat. Um, they basically uh, knew enough like on, on how to complete the game. They played the game casually, and they were going through it. Um, then they decided they were going to race, and uh, they had Roos um, doing commentary for them. Nice. And one of the things, uh, one of the things that I saw at the very beginning, uh, like okay, three, two, one, go. Um, and then Kizaron was going, you know, just fine. Uh, J. Hobbs did not turn off the tutorial. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Keys had like a uh, four-minute lead just from that. Oh sure, yeah, that takes a while. Oh no. All right, I think we're going to call it there. We've only got two minutes left, and none of these positions are going to change, and uh, we got to keep things moving. So 
We're going to call it. So GG's to pre-wait for first, Bryn for second, Calvica getting the flag plant for third, Papanit with fourth, but GG's nonetheless. All right, let's move on. Um, our next race is going to feature just Sparky Yes, Bronx Taco, Kalaria, and Note Scrub. And I will set up the scores and everything for that. Should be good. Thanks again for everybody joining us here. I hope you're enjoying the races. It's a beautiful day for racing. <laughs> 